Today, we're going to be talking about green screens. Hey guys, what's up? It's Bravity, and welcome back to another video here on my channel. I hope you guys are having a fantastic day, because I sure am. Like I said in the beginning, today we're going to be talking all about green screens. I've been wanting to do a lot more tutorial based stuff instead of like my templates. We're still going to be doing templates, but every once in a while I want to mix in just some regular tutorials for streaming inside of Premiere, inside of After Effects, all kinds of stuff to just split up the templates a little bit. So today is all about green screens and how to use them when you are live streaming. Now, the only time I really recommend that you use a green screen, unless you have a cool effect you're doing, is just to remove the background if you're streaming in your room and it's messy or something you just don't have the money or time to make it look like a nice stream room then definitely throw up a green screen definitely can have so much added production value to your streams instead of just having a bland room behind you so i definitely look into a green screen there's all kinds of ones to choose from my specific one is one of the new ones from elgato you know the normal ones that pull up from the the ground well recently they released this thing and it actually pulls down from the ceiling. My green screen is mounted to my ceiling. It's awesome because it's not on the floor and in the way, and I don't bump into it when I'm walking by the by the one hanging from the ceiling. So it's really awesome. The only thing, the only thing is that one is a little bit expensive. I believe it goes for about $150. And if you've got about $50 to spend, maybe you could go with something like this. This is a pop-up green screen from Amazon. You see they can go down into a really small size like this, but when you're ready for it, they can expand out into this massive like five foot by eight foot green screen that you can hang behind you. These things are awesome. So if you got about like $50 to spend, I think you can get one of these on Amazon. I'm gonna set it over here. So you could get one of those, but even if you don't have $50 to spend, just a green sheet would work or a green piece of fabric, something like that would work. Now in the filmmaking and video world, there is a very specific green called chroma key green that you'll see like on the Elgato ones. That is a very specific green that works best with chroma king but any green sheet's gonna work for us we're not trying to get a photo real look we're just trying to remove the background for our twitch stream and a green sheet would work fine so let's start with a couple tips for setting up your green screen and then we'll hop inside of obs so i've pulled down my green screen now the first thing you might notice is that we've got a bit of a color going on down here and that's because i have a colored light and if you have colored lights in your room shut them off they're gonna ruin your green screen you saw the screen looked blue that's not what you want you want the screen to look green now the next thing is that this side looks very dark this looks fine i have a light over here that's shining on here this looks fine but this side looks dark and we've got a lot of shadow going on over here so i actually have a specific light over here to turn on when i'm green screening so i'm gonna turn that on real quick all right, so there we go. We've turned on the second light, and now you can see that this side is no longer covered in shadow. It's nice and bright like this side because I've got two big soft boxes right in front of me now casting light on the green screen. This is the most important part of green screening. Make sure your screen is well lit and flatly lit to where there's not many shadows. And that is the first tip. Get two lights or three lights and just shine them perfectly on the screen to illuminate you and the screen so that there's no shadow sides. Next tip is to push the screen as far back away from you as you can without having your body like going outside of the screen. You need Your body needs to be perfectly covered by the screen like mine is now, but you wanna get it as far away as you can as possible because as my hand gets closer to the screen, you'll notice that there's a shadow behind it that'll cause a lot of issues when keying. So if you see this shadow moving around behind my hand, the keyer is not going to like that and you might see some weird artifacting when you move your hand. So make sure you push the screen back as far as you can to get the best result. But there we go. We've got a screen set up. We've got it well lit. We've got it pushed back. Let's jump into OBS and take a look at how to use it. All right, guys. So here we are inside of OBS. Now I'm also using OBS to record this video right now. So it might be a little bit hard to show you guys what's going on, but we're going to try our best and we're going to get through it. But I've got me down in the corner. I'm using the cam link to get my footage in here so you can see me on the green screen now you might just be using a webcam if that is that's going to be fine just click down here on your camera layer whatever it is and you just want to right click and go to filters so once you're inside of filters you might already have a filter on it like a color correction filter you can leave that on it might be making the screen look more nice and vibrant you never know so just leave the color correction on and you just want to go down here to the plus and hit chroma key now chroma key is what it is called when you key out the green or the blue so you just want to hit chroma key hit okay and bam Look at that. If your screen is lit properly, you are completely done. Let me scale myself up here a little bit 
and there you go and you can just see how fantastic it looks now you can still see a little bit a little sliver of my room over here because it's not perfectly covered in the green screen and what you can do in that case is just grab this little box on the side of your footage hold down alt and you can just drag and crop it out just like that so now we go now we go there we go we're entirely covered in green screen and we can put ourselves anywhere inside of our stream so i say we try to recreate a popular streamer that is known for using green screens and that is Lachlan. So Lachlan has his green screen set up kind of over here like this. He's nice and small like that. And then he has a cam border. Let's see if we can just go in here, add a cam border image. All right, so there we go. So there's Lachlan's camera border. So we're gonna go ahead and scale it down to the right size, kind of like he has it like that. Put it over to the side where he has it, maybe a little smaller, just like that. Go ahead and drop it below our footage. And then we'll go ahead and just kind of frame ourselves grab our cam link footage at the bottom here go ahead and move it up a little bit and then we can just kind of crop ourselves into the camera border so just like that on that side just like that on that side and there we go we now have Lachlan's camera border as you guys can see this is not only how he has it he has the purple background with the white outline and his head comes outside of the camera border now you can see we can't go outside on this side we can't go outside down below because we've cropped it in but the top we can come out of the top of the webcam so that is how he does it when he is green screening while he is streaming just running a green screen with the chroma key setting on it and then we've got this uh, camera border that i will provide to you down in the description so if you want the lachlan style camera border and you want to do this just buy yourself a green screen and there you go we look just like lachlan and that's how you green screen inside of OBS. It's really awesome. And this effect right here where you're coming outside of the top of your camera border is a really cool effect. I would say design your own camera border so you're not perfectly copying Lachlan, but I'm gonna provide this one for you just in case you just wanna see how it looks with your setup. But there you go. All right, guys, and that is pretty much it for this video. I hope you enjoyed it. I've been having a ton of people ask me on Twitter and down in the YouTube comments how to do that head coming up out of the top of the camera border thing like Lachlan does. So there you go. I taught you how to green screen and provided you with a camera border down in the description you can use to recreate that exact same effect. But I would definitely recommend you design your own in Photoshop. Make sure you take a screenshot and send me what you do with your green screen if you get one and what you do with your camera border if you design your own. But once again, I hope you guys enjoyed the video. Don't forget to follow me on Instagram and on Twitter, and I will see you guys in the next video. Peace out.